Are you busy? Well too bad, cause we need you to give us a follow on Twitter. Links in the description. Hey guys, quick warning, this episode was meant to go up before the Batman one from a couple of weeks ago. It needed a bit more work done to it than the Batman one did, so I shuffled the order. I'm not sorry. Enjoy! <laughs> Welcome to From a Hat, the show we draw a topic out of a hat, just like it says in the title. I'm Ben. And I'm Phoenix. I'm Nick. Welcome to the show, Nick. Hey, thanks for having me. Pleasure um, to be here. This is going to get annoying. <laughs> this is going to get great. Uh, since you're the guest and it's your first time, you get to draw out of the hat. Okay. So, Phoenix, pass the man the hat. Here's a hat. Yeah. I'm drawing out of the hat. Okay. Doctor Who is a prick? Question mark. Good. So, um, as is custom, right? Theme song? Just oh, the Doctor Who theme, yeah? I say we use... How about Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> Just I was going to gonna say the X-Files, but yeah. Oh. What do you suggest, Nick? I don't know how to sing any of these things. You don't need to sing them. I'm just going to put them in as the Oh, thing, edit them in. Because I was going to say Doctor Who and the X-Files <laughs> like... No, I like singing the X-Files one. What yeah. the fuck is that? That's Star Trek. Oh! Do Every... you not know Star Trek? No, theme? I don't like Star Trek. Okay. I reckon just throw the Futurama theme on there. Just get that in. Oh, yeah. Yep. Future, I'll put Futurama put in. Put Futurama in. I'm not sure if that's going to be copyright, but just get that Mate, in. Mate, it's probably going to be Doctor Who. Mate, literally all of our theme songs are copyright. Do you think I get the rights to them? <laughs> yeah, you got to get that up. Ha! <laughs> you get big trouble. Oh, we don't bless make money. Your, bless your innocent heart. We don't make money from this show. I'll be making some big bucks. Don't worry. We've got some sponsorships lined up. Nice. I'll throw them in subtly. You won't even know. <laughs> I was about to get into the episode, mate. <laughs> Out of the three of us on this show, who's watched Doctor Who? I watch uh, once a year. That's oh, right, you watch Christmas specials. I watch the Christmas specials every uh, year. A little bit, here and there. And I watched most of it. Mm. I gave up a while ago, because mm. I just, I couldn't take it anymore. What was the last episode of Doctor Who you watched, Nick? Uh, the last one I remember is they went to a future place in the library, and there was the skeletons, but they weren't regular skeletons, they did bad things. And then something wow. happened. Wow. As opposed to all the other not bad things doing well, skeletons. Well, like skeletons, they weren't just lying there. They were a big deal. I forget what. Okay, so the last episode you saw was the two-parter Silence in the Library. That sounds, yeah, sounds it. With the dark enemies. The Vaxta Narada, which was actually the first episode of Doctor Who I watched. So the last one you watched is the first one he watched. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. That's when I got into Doctor Who because David Tennant is a sexy beast. Sure. And then right. I gave up recently because... Fuck this show. Okay. It's so dumb. Oh, yeah. It's, the writing is strange, to say the least. I mean, isn't it been 15 years? It's been longer than 15. 50? If you take into account... <laughs> That's a bit long. No, no. 50 is about right. If you take into account the classic series and the hiatus, 50 is about right, mate. Okay. Like, it's as old as Batman. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty old. Batman's very old. He doesn't look it, though, because he works out. But the Doctor doesn't work out. He has cheats. Yeah. He changes a different person. Mmm. I mean, that's exciting, though. It's like, ooh, who's going to star on my TV show now? Are they going to ruin it? Like, It's going to be no one. They always ever, they only ever pick people who aren't that famous, except Peter Capaldi, who was fucking gold, and then they ruined him. <laughs> so, on the topic of him being, like, the worst... Um, yes. Next question. Every, everything... Every, like, guy, like, every doctor has a new companion. Right. What happens to them? Oh, uh, they just leave. They just well, leave. depends. Because, um, mm. I'll go with the modern who. Isn't the... Modern Doctor Who is the best version of Doctor Who. Uh -huh. Fuck everyone who likes the classics. Sure. So, the first companion in modern Doctor Who was Rose. Okay. She got... No, she didn't die. Well... She got trapped on an alternate Earth. Okay. And he just left her there. And he tried to get her back. Okay. Well, he tried to go back, and then she was like, well, I've got a lot. Uh, then he failed, and he left her with an exact copy of him. Oh, that's okay, what? then. That's... An exact copy Why? of him who was a human, so that David Tennant could grow old with Rose Tyler because they loved each other. If anything, that sounds like a good ending. Now you That does not like sound that. like a good it ending. It was. Compared. It was quite beautiful. 
Fuck you, Phoenix. Sounds um, like he's not letting her move on and find a new guy. To be fair, she had a boyfriend when he when she started traveling with him. Oh, well, he's a dickhead. Okay, guy. yeah. What a prick. Absolutely. That was uh, Christopher Eccleston, the ninth Doctor. Sure. And he died in the process, and then David Tennant took over, and by that point, Rose had broken up with her boyfriend, Mickey. He probably broke him up. You yeah. That is like. That is exactly why they broke up. Let him course. show her the world and steal away. Boyfriend thing. All right. So, after Rose was, I want to say, briefly Donna, who just said, No, I'm good. Don't want to. Not I, into I, traveling maybe through she got space bored. and time. Like, there was a Christmas special, and uh, the doctor was all like, Do you want to just travel with me now? And she was like, No, mate. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm like, good. That's the best answer. Yeah. So, she just didn't. New Xbox is out. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, no, mate, I've got a pre-order on PlayStation 5. I want to wait. I have some movies to catch up on. So she didn't travel with him because she just didn't want to. Yeah. And um, next in line after her was Martha. Sure. Who was, was the just racist. there. She's she she's black. <laughs> okay. That's the only notable character trait of her. She's just wow. rose but black. Okay. She okay. had a massive crush on David Tennant, but he didn't. He didn't. I'm just going to call the doctors by their names because it's easier. Yeah. Um, she had a massive crush on David Tennant, but he didn't feel the same way and was oblivious to it because comedy. Yeah. Is it because he was in love with Rose. Yeah, exactly that. Huh. So in the end, after like their adventures done, she's just like, motherfucker, I've been trying to bone you for months and you're just not, fuck you. And then she just left. Oh. Can't he take sure. her to another dimension where he does want to buy her and leave her in that one? No. no I feel like they... It's not a show about dimensions. I feel like Hi. you can just write any explanation in this show and somehow they'll make it work. Well, the dimension thing can't be done again because uh, there are barriers between alternate dimensions and they got sealed up. Ah. For a bit. Strats. Oh. For a bit. For a bit. Because next up is Donna. Who was like, oh shit, I should have, I probably should have taken that deal. So she spent a long time being like, I wonder where the doctor is. I'm gonna find him. Okay. And then she found him and he's like, I just want a friend. Do you want to be mates? She's like, yeah, all right. So they were just buddies. Yeah, okay. Which was great. Wait, is she just a regular person? Yeah. How'd she do find him then? It's the Can't world travel. of Doctor Who. Or because he always fucking comes back to the modern day. Because apparently this is when everything's the most exciting. And cheapest to film. Yeah. <laughs> so she just waited around, basically, and I was like, huh, that's a shifty looking fucking building. I'm going to go there. I reckon you'll show up. And she was right. What fucking writing is that? <laughs> also, so, a quick spoiler warning for Doctor Who fans. We're going to talk about some episodes and events. They figured. If you've, if you've gotten... We're about <laughs> ten minutes just in. Just let you know. We're about ten minutes in. If you didn't think there was going to be spoilers, fuck you. Right. I love you, even if you thought there wouldn't be spoilers. So at the end of Donna's run, the da- the Daleks, you know what the Daleks are, don't you? Yeah, I know them. The Everyone giant salt and pepper shakers? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they were going to destroy the Earth. Good. Yep. And Donna, and uh, as a result, they tried to destroy all of existence. Uh-huh. Oh. Not just Earth. That sounds... Why would they do that? Because the not? Daleks are idiots. Oh. They never think beyond must kill everything. Well, they never think beyond the word exterminate. Yeah. Do they make themselves or someone make them? Um, a dude made them, but he was all like, oh, I quite like Daleks. I want to be one. So he replaced his legs with a Dalek. Okay. His name's Davros. He looks like a expired kiwi fruit. Oh. Wait, so just the bottom half of him? No, no, the top half of him is like a really, really old man. Mm-hmm. Like if you leave a kiwi out in the sun too long. Not a kiwi, an avocado. Ah. Okay. Like all shrinky and weird. Ugh. And his bottom half's a Dalek. Huh. Yeah. Does he get along with the other Daleks? Do they? Do they they're like, him? you created us. And he's like, I did. And they're like, we don't like you, though, because you're not a Dalek. He's like, but I made you. <laughs> he's like, I'm half Dalek. Isn't that enough? Mm-hmm. But anyway, so. And the answer is no. It's not enough. At the end of Donna's run, um, what happened was she briefly got all the powers of the Doctor by absorbing his, like, they did a print of his brain. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she copied it into her own head so she could help save the world. Okay. And because he's like over 900, you can't take the, much. the brain of someone who's just lived that long and put it in a normal human because they'll fucking explode, apparently. Sure. Ooh, did she? No. Uh, oh. He wipes her memory of him and leaves her on her. Oh, so shit. essentially, he roofied her. Good. 
I mean, yeah. He roofied her good. That's a roofie. So, after that... Wait, who was after Donna? Oh, right, no one. After Donna, he just kind of fucked around for a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he briefly had a woman who was just a thief. Sure. Who was very flirty with him. Ah. And he gave her a flying bus and then fucked off. <laughs> a flying fucking bus. I'm not kidding. That's a hell of a sex move. I've tried it myself. Uh... <laughs> He gave her the a old flying bus. I prefer the double deck of flying bus. It, it was. It was a double deck of flying bus. Oh wow. Jeez. That's a hard one to pull off, but mm. when if you do it, it's worth it. Yeah. From there he went to Mars, mm -hmm. where there were some water villains. Ah, because it's water on Mars. I get that one. He took he went ahead in the future. <laughs> he went to the future where um the first man mission to Mars was. But you can tell where the writers got that from. It's like, oh, they're finding water on Mars. Let's write an episode about that. To be fair, there are villains from Mars in Doctor Who's past who are ice-based because they're like, they used to be water on Mars. There's not now because we done fucked up. But anyway, drank it all. so the Doctor was all like, ah, oh, and he had this whole crew of fuckers with him on Mars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who were the first man mission to Mars. And they were like, shit, we're all being attacked by these water fucks and they're stealing our lives and killing us. Is that the one with the big hole in the ground? No. Ah. But, um, it's like, to be fair, The Waters of Mars is a great episode because it's just alien, but with water. Oh, okay. The first one? No, first it's, alien? no, it's the fucking, it's the thing. The thing? Yeah, you know, the thing, or, no, that's the, the film, the thing. The movie. Oh, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. With the ice. It's yep. that, but with water, and everyone is slowly taken over by this monster, and, yeah, it's great. And at the end... He just, there's only one survivor left, so the Doctor's like, I'm not supposed to change important historical events. But fuck it! <laughs> so he does. And he takes her back to Earth, and she's all like, I was supposed to die on Mars. And he's like, yeah, you were, but you didn't. Why'd you do that? Because I fucking could. And then he walks off and she shoots herself in the head. Ah. And she's like, motherfucker, don't fuck with time. Absolutely. No one's gonna be that, that like, wound up about time. That Apparently she um, was. So, that's something I was going to bring up. I'm not done. Okay. Well, you can bring it up in a minute. Timey wimey mm. bullshit. Yeah, you exactly. can bring it Fuck up in Tumblr. a minute. You can bring it up in a fucking minute. I'm not done. So, as he's walking off, right, the woman who shot it, he hears the woman shoot herself in the head and he turns around and there's a thing called an ood who look like squid men. Oh, they okay. They got like squid faces, all right? And there's one ood called like ood supreme or some shit. Is it an outrage? He's a top ood. No, it's not an outrage. <laughs> okay. All right? And Outrageous. he's all like, Oi, doctor, you done fucked up, son. Now the world's ending. And he's like, what? And then so he goes like... to the ood home world and they're like, okay, we lied. The world's not ending. You are, though. You're going to die soon. He's yeah. like, what do you mean I'm going to die soon? And they're like, oh, uh, someone's going to knock four times and then you're going to fucking die, son. And everyone's like, oh, four times. Because there's a Doctor Who villain called the Master, who is a Time Lord like the Doctor. And he hears a drum beat. He hears a drum beat in his head that goes... <laughs> right? Which is why he's insane. So, the Doctor's like, well shit, I better stop that, but I'm going to need a companion. So, he gets Donna's granddad. Okay, that's a bit of a... To be fair, Donna's granddad is a lovely chap. Still! He's, like, he gets him on Christmas, and he's wearing reindeer antlers, and his wife's like... Granddad, take those off. And he's like, a shot! It is Christmas! And then he fucks off. Sure. His granddad? Has he ever spoke? Like... I love him. <laughs> yeah, they've met before. Ah, shit. So the doctor... Uh, it's like, Phoenix, do you want to hang out? No. But What's your granddad up to at the moment? <laughs> Pretty much. So the doctor travels around with, with Donna's granddad for one episode. Did they fall in love? No. But um, Donna's granddad... Homophobic grand show. But Donna's <laughs> granddad does kill him. <laughs> Ah, so because he gets trapped in a thing like a box of radiation, of course. And you need another, those. you need another person to yeah, unlock absolutely. it on the other side and take all the radiation out of your bit and flush it into the other one. Okay, so it's been essentially you go in here and then someone goes in there and fucking dies. <laughs> oh yeah. So the like doctor Smithers does. Smithers' dad. Yeah, like instance. Smithers' dad. Yeah. So the doctor goes into the other thing and gets himself killed, and then he becomes Matt Smith. Is that the ne is that an actor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He that's was the, the next guy. after David Tennant. So he so doesn't really die; he just they just switch. Yeah, around. the doctors yeah. don't die; they regenerate. So Matt Smith gets in, and his first companion is Amy Pond, who is the sexiest companion. Fuck all of you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, she. I'm sorry, viewers. <laughs> 
She's Mentos. she's like oh, it's the eve of her wedding when he gets her. All right, rude. Yeah, just takes her off to fucking travel. He's like, I'll get you back on time. He doesn't. He never. How does. could he not? He has a time machine. He's an Go idiot. Back. Just take. He doesn't know how to fly it. There's a bit where he meets his future wife, and he's like, "You landed the task." She goes, "Yeah," and he goes, "It didn't make the sound." She goes, "What sound?" He goes. <gasps> No, Which just, is the sound it just, makes. That's just funny, because, you know, Tumblr, he's, a, he's a kooky guy. Yeah, and she's all like, yeah, it only makes that sound because you leave the fucking parking brake on, you moron. And he's all like, oh, well, fuck. Damn. Who's his wife? Uh, some woman named River Song. Oh, Who was in yeah. that episode that you watched? She's dead now. Was she? Yeah, no, she's the woman with the, the curly hair. Ah, Wait, the actor's dead or the no, character? No, the character's dead. Oh, dead. gosh. Because she dies in that episode you watched, actually. Oh, I don't remember that. Like, every time we see her, she's slightly younger. So he's working in reverse to her. The oh. older he gets, the younger she gets. It's confusing. So. I gotta meet right in the middle, huh? And yeah. she has a screwdriver. Yeah, she does. Which never comes up again. So briefly, um, the doctor's like, oh, shit. I didn't know you were getting married, Amy. And she's like, yeah, but I want to fuck you. Oh, boy. That's not even a joke. Like, he gets her back to her place and she's like right before you go do you want a bone and he's like no you're getting married she's like yeah not married yet but sexy alien times and he's all like alright I need to go find your husband and have a fucking word what happens on somewhere out in the galaxy what happens no, this, this was on earth somewhere out in the galaxy <laughs> no what happens in wibbly wobbly time stuff yeah. stays in wibbly wobbly time stuff this was on earth it's not so, so wibbly wobbly though no so he just grabs her, puts her in the thing, goes to her husband's stag night that's happening in the same night, and kidnaps that motherfucker. Yeah, he's a matchmaking. It's fucking... and then gets him killed. Ah, uh, and then they have sex because he's out of the yeah. picture. Rory gets ki- Rory, Amy's the husband. The car. Yes. Yeah. He gets killed and erased from fucking time. Get him out of there. You can't. You got erased from time. Well, actually, I say you can't. He fucking does, though. So, right, in next up, Mm -hmm. uh, Rory gets brought back to life by some bullshit. After being erased from time. Yes. Okay. Because people used some scan of Amy's room to be like, let's just build a trap for the Doctor. So, that happens, and they actually stay with him for a while. And eventually they leave because they get trapped in New York City in the 1920s, and they die of old age. And you the know, Statue right. of Liberty! And the Statue it's of Liberty is a moving angel. statue. Who fucking writes this show? You'd think! That is weird! <laughs> if the Statue of I am familiar with Weeping Angels. If the Statue of Liberty is a Weeping Angel, does that mean they just have someone watching it all time? Yes! Except for the one bit where the giant statue moves and comes at them. Which is, is like, wait, so no one in New York was looking at the statue one minute? I mean... They showed Weeping Angels move in that episode, didn't they? They showed the move in the appearance they had before that, which ruined them because you're not supposed to see them move. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's it's what stupid. makes them so scary, is because the viewers, they don't move whenever the camera's on them. Yeah. Which is like, oh, okay, so it's viewer interaction. Because I'm watching them, they can't move. Mm. Cool. Are the Weeping Angels Earth-based exclusively? No, no, they're from space. Okay. Now, I remember there's one bit where they saw it through a TV to stop it moving or something. Or not looking through a TV. There was a camera thing. Yeah, there was a camera and um, it was on a camera and someone looked away and it tried to get out of the video. Because apparently a picture of a Weeping Angel becomes a Weeping Angel. Well, that's just silly. What? Which is fucking stupid. A picture of me doesn't become me. Does but you don't... your soul, though. It does take my soul. But you don't need more of me because all Ben's are hive minds. So Mm. there's already lots of me. Um, Like, how old is... Can it be like an old-timey photograph? Where it's like... No. Oh, I can't fucking see anything. Any photo. Any photo of a weeping angel is a weeping angel. What about a sketch? That's a weeping angel. So, like, if it... Fuck! So, like, a little kid can just, like, scribble... Yep. They're all... If you... Any picture of a weeping angel, if it is specifically of a weeping angel, is a weeping angel. So if a kid's like, Mommy, look what I did. It's like, oh, that's a great... Elephant? No, Mom, it's a weeping angel. You fucking idiot. Now you've made the world's most this terrifying one, weeping angel. Put this one on the fridge because I have to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> now on the fridge, pin it to a skyscraper so someone sees it at all times. Can you, if you have a shirt with a picture of a weeping angel on it, does that become... Yes! And like, I was, I was scary and it's like, everyone has to look at you the whole time. Yeah. Because I, they never explain further than an image of a weeping angel becomes a weeping angel. So That's I'm assuming that all images of weeping angels are weeping guys, angels. Guys, Google Maps. <laughs> oh, 
fuck. <laughs> it's satellite view. Shit. We just have so many of them. <laughs> but we can use... Why don't we use Google to look at the wee painters at all times? Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Like, wouldn't satellites be on... Get, yeah, get the NSA times, on that. Like, always showing them. But, all right. Wait, hold on. on. So, if it's a picture, how does... Is it, like... Does it get out of the picture? Is it too deep? Yeah, it just kind of... No, it gets it out of the picture. It disappears, doesn't it? Like, you know how when you get a 3D hologram? Yeah. That. Oh, okay. Because in the, the first time it happens, which admittedly was a scary moment because they're like... A picture of a weeping angel becomes a weeping angel. And Amy's locked in that room watching the video. Oh, fuck! <laughs> so, what happens is, it briefly comes out, and at first it's 2D, but then it slowly starts to become more solid, and it gets a bit glitchy. Okay. So it looks like a bad VCR recording of a weeping angel, which admittedly looks terrifying. I have a question. If I were to play Pokemon Go, right? Yeah. And take a photo of the Pokemon I was catching over the top of a Weeping Angel. It's Would it come what? out with a Victory Bell head? Depends. Is the Weeping Angel visible in the photo? Yes, except its head, which is covered by a Victory Bell. I don't know. Because I would love to see a Weeping if... Angel come out with that face. That would be amazing. If you draw a small one, does it come out like a pint-sized drawing? Does it come out small? or does No, it get I imagine bigger? it comes out big because the video they're watching of the Weeping Angel is small. Okay. And it comes out... At normal Weeping Angel size. Is it like uh, the ring where she crawls out of the TV? No, it's more sudden. Okay. Like uh, jittery and shit. Gotcha. But anyway. So and it just kind of appears out because they didn't show them moving out of the camera at that point. So I have a question. Alright, I wasn't done with the companions. Oh, continue. I'm nearly <laughs> done. Can you just get some the sand. Companions. You're going to any plant you don't like, get like a bunch of sand, throw it on the ground, be like, it's a sand drawing of a Weeping Angel. See how I'm out, your plant's fucking it. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So, all right, uh, just get it projected. Like on the note of Amy and Rory getting left in New York, you'd think because he's like, "Oh, I can't go back to that specific time in New York City." Go nineteen because nineteen. Yeah, because apparently, like the Weeping Angels have some time lock on it. So it's like, all right, you can't go back to New York in that specific era. Go back a year or, or two before or after. Just fucking wait. Or better yet, go to New Jersey and just catch a fucking bus. You don't need to travel by time machine always, you pedantic cunt. Wait, isn't he here immortal? Yeah! Just go like 19, 19 cent, 18th century, just wait yeah, for a bit. Yeah, just fucking wait! That's a spin-off Have series. a nap! Spin-off series right there, 18th century doctor. That would be extra quirky. The love uh, right. After Amy and Rory, he gets... too much. Down in Abbey, he meets Doctor Who. You heard it here first. <laughs> After Amy and Rory, he gets a series of versions of one woman named Clara Oswald. Okay. Right? Who is apparently a constant in time and space? Okay, because she just keeps happening. Is she the uh, is she the Doctor Who fan? No, that's Oswin, that's and Tumblr. Oswin is a lovely human. All right, what what are the versions of it? Like okay, redhead? so no, there's one Short that's legs? in there's the first one we meet is in the future and is trapped on the Dalek on the planet of the Daleks. How'd cool. she get there? Ah, uh, she crashed a ship. Ah. Oh. And they've Where'd turned. Where'd you get the ship? Uh, I don't know. Ship they've talk. turned her into a Dalek. Oh, that's the worst. And she doesn't know. Oh, I feel so like she's like, weird. oh no, I'm a Dalek. And. It's just then... kidding, you're afraid. Yeah. <laughs> so, he. Because that one dies because Dalek. So he goes back to like the 18th century or something, just after Amy and Rory have died, and meets 18th century Clara Oswald, who is just like a nanny for some kids. Oh, it's, it's already They already did the idea, I guess. Mm. And then, that one dies. Ah. By some shit. So he's like, shit, they were the same fucking woman. Twice. I gotta find her. I know where to find her. The modern day, apparently. Absolutely. Yeah. So he goes to modern day London and finds modern day Clara Oswald, who is just Clara Oswald, normal everyday woman. And he meets her, and he takes her on trips, and he doesn't bother to be like, Hey, um, you keep popping up in all of time and space. Do you have an explanation? He just doesn't ask. Didn't think to bring it up. He just doesn't He's ask. Busy. He's like, I'll figure it out eventually. No, you won't. You're an idiot. Cool. So eventually, right, after some really, really, really annoying bullshit... We find out that she is apparently a time, a, a human who forced herself into the doctor's timeline and would constantly show up at different points to make sure he was always where he needed to be. Why wasn't she there before he met her the first time? Yeah, I know, right? Because when they come up with that, they're like, shit, she hasn't been in the show before. Let's pretend she has and put in some 
footage and have oh, her superimposed no. in the background. Yes. I hate that shit. That's my favorite thing in the world. Oh. It's called a continuity change. It's called bullshit writing. Yep. <laughs> so, eventually, she dies. Well, she doesn't die. She gets herself semi killed oh, yeah. by some dude. So the doctor freezes time on the moment she's supposed to die. Mm hmm. Muffin. Go on. Get out. Get out of it, Muffin. Go on, Minnie. Shout out to both dogs in the podcast. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Okay. Phoenix, could you hear my could you hear Minnie to Tegan, please? The dogs have escaped have entered the studio. I was yelling about Doctor Who, right? Yeah. Actually, what did we were I just, talking about uh, Cars 3. <laughs> what did I say about Doctor you Who? You said that, that that she He froze time. time. Yeah! She he fucking froze time. He can do that. And went yeah, apparently. And went to his home planet. I thought that was in a bubble. I thought that He got, found it. Oh, we found it? Cool. He just found it. I thought that was a big thing. It's like, ah, oh, where are my people? It w we thought it was. It just never came up again. It's he found it eventually. Just couldn't get just it the GPS. Went, yeah, just went there and was all like, right, you, cunts, fix my issues. And they're like, no. And he's like, motherfucker, last time I was here, I won the election and became president of this planet. President? Oh, no. Do president my doctor. <laughs> president? He's technically... President who? He is technically the president of his home planet. Oh, he ran away, so he's not been doing it. So someone else has. So he's not president so at I all. I feel like he should not be. But president he's like, still. nah, nah, I'm president. Fix my fucking issues, and they're like, all right, oh, that's nice. Isn't so it? they do by wiping his memory of Clara, but she's still alive. So she travels time and space with Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. Huh. It's not explained why. Wait, so she's Clara's just a regular human, right? Well, was. Uh, technically what happened was the Doctor, because he froze time on that moment and then yanked her out of it with Gallifrey and technology, Ugh. she is forever alive and has a TARDIS and is travelling with the immortal Maisie Williams. So who... she is just the Doctor. Yeah. But we don't get to watch her adventures because the audience got she's bored. She's a woman okay. and it's So sexist. tell me about K9. K9, the dog. Yeah. Um... He has a robot dog. Ah, okay, cool. There's when did not, that happen? Uh, that was in the classic series and briefly in the modern series. I love K9. He's you just the nicest his own thing. Series. He did. It was shit. A, a dog. Hey? Yeah. K. The Adventures of K9. Oh boy. They are. Oh, I really have nothing to say to that. Can the dog? Does any talking function? Yeah, it Just, talks. Okay. It's like a. It's like a big. Imagine a toaster, like an old toaster. Okay. But with a dog head. Yeah. It's it's got a, a robot dog face. Does it have a, like a robot voice? Like boop boop. No, it's like hello, doctor. I am K9. <laughs> Who Why do people like this show? <laughs> I know. But K9's a lovely creature, and I love him. So um, he's just he just means well. Oh, he's just. So <laughs> oh, no, he didn't uh, ask to be made. No one asked to be made. Who <laughs> comes after Time Chick? I don't know. I gave up after that. Is cool. it still? Is this show still going? Yes. yes. It's actually airing now, at time of recording. Oh. It's in the middle of a season. Get on okay, it. so... Was my so oh, go ahead. Why does he do anything? That's a great question. Because... He's quirky and wacky all time. Because why me? We're a, so fucking quirky. Like constantly messing with the timeline. If the, if the Weeping Angels are around touching people, that was supposed to happen. Just let that jam happen. There's rules. Of course there are rules. Uh, the rules of time travel... Because doc every time travel media has their own rules. Right? Oh, okay. This isn't something exclusive to Doctor Who, the time travel rules. Back to the Future has them too, but Back to the Future's ones make more sense. Also, Back to the Future is a yeah. great movie. Yeah. And it's more grounded and stakes are higher. I think it's because Back to the Future was like three movies instead of a series that has gone for like 50 years and has to keep trying to expand. Back to the Future has happened. like clear goals and stakes. It's like he might not make it. He could, you know, not end up with his wife or whatever. Yeah, he yeah. could not end up with his mum or whatever. But anyway. Did he bang be... his mum in that? No, he almost did. He nearly did. Whew. So, uh, the rules of Doctor Close Who. Close one. <laughs> the rules of Doctor Who time travel are. Um, Time works like this. It's a bit loopy. Uh huh. I'm not saying the line. Uh, say it. It's a no. little bit wibbly. It's a bit not. wobbly. <laughs> kind of timey. Definitely whimey. I hate you. This has been a sponsor by the BBC. Fuck We've the paid BBC. a lot of money to talk about Doctor Who. Absolutely. Anyway. Eat Mentos. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> basically there are very, there are key mentos. points. There are key points in time that have to happen. 
and no one's allowed to interfere. Okay. It's agreed upon by sure. some group of people. Oh, okay. Anyone who travels time just kind of agrees, all right, these are the key points, don't fuck with them, because bad shit does happens. Doctor, does does the Doctor II ever say... There. Huh? I'm guessing World, World War, War II. II is in there. Uh, certain points in World War II are in there, yeah, but for the most part, World War II is, like... Just the genocide has to happen, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless it is a key point in time, it's called in flux. So right. any, So it can be changed. Is like, it, if, um, say for example, I slap Nick. I'm not going to slap you, Nick. I hope yeah. not. You're too adorable. But if I slap Nick, that'd be a point in ah! flux. So if someone came back in time and convinced me not to slap Nick, provided it wasn't Phoenix, Nick, or myself, who are in this room right now, it would be fine. Nothing bad would happen. There might be a change here or there. Like, sure. I might decide to shave. I won't, because it's me. Yeah. All right? However, uh, anything else that's major, you can't fuck with, because bad things happen. It's not been specified what, okay. just bad things. Is or it like all the times where you're not allowed to change it is when companions get lost or died or major plot points? Um, like, not really. Because yeah. he just steers clear anything. of them. He just steers clear of the fixed points in time because they're too, they're too fixed points, they're fixed points in time. Like, see, the doctor's always doing things. Like, he's always, like, going around being like, I'm gonna have a wacky adventure. He's up to hijinks. If I, if I were him, if I had the TARDIS, I'd go somewhere, I'd be like, you know what? I'm just gonna see what this planet's Settle like. Settle down for a bit. You know? He did for a while. And just sit there and just chill and hang with people. And have a be like, okay, life. I wonder what these people are like. Chill with other people. Like, he but I he be did like, for a while. He, like, Matt Smith Doctor lived on a planet in a town called Christmas for, like, thousands of years, basically, and just grew old because he had to protect the planet from, from evil. Of but Christmas. he had to protect the, the planet. Why? Because, yeah. um, the, just, the, the, his planet. Uh, the Gallifreyans had put a thing on there and they were like, if anyone can get the Doctor here and he says his name and he has to answer because it's a truth field, then this will open, this big crack will open and the world will end! And it's like, but will it, though? Sure, but why do they want the world to end? Because they're in it. I don't know. But then, like... <sighs> it's confusing and doesn't make sense. Does anyone try to, like, just hit him in the head with, like, a hammer or, like, a rock or anything? So is... Um, okay, so the first Doctor died of being old, which is odd because he was young then, by his logic. Ah. The second one died... I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember all of them, but I know one died from falling from a great height. Uh, one got shot and then killed by... Urban violence. Yeah, yeah, actually gang violence. Oh him. my god! <laughs> he landed in the middle of gang shit. Awesome. In Defeated the... by urban violence. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. He got shot and he would have been fine, but some surgeons like, this guy's got an erratic heartbeat. Let's fix that. And he killed him. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Uh, one died of um, absorbing the time vortex that allows you to travel time into his head. Uh, what? That would have been handy to Why? have. Why? Because uh, Rose did it, and he Rose needed to save what? Rose. What did Rose do? Rose absorbed, um, she looked at the time vortex and took it into her brain so she could have magical powers for a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the way it goes into her brain. I don't know, man. I don't understand. Is it like a big whirling purple vortex? A little like, bit. Ah! Um, Send me nog. Like I'm not. David, a per I'm not a person who doesn't like it. I think it's fine, but I just don't understand how it has survived for so long. David Tennant died like eight times, which is weird because he keeps surviving deaths. Mm. Like he dies one. Um, he, in one version of history, he drowns. <laughs> Uh -huh. Which is depressing. <laughs> what a version of history, like, drops his phone in the bathtub and electric. Yeah. <laughs> in, in that version of history, he, he drowns, it. but apparently drowning is too quick a death, so he doesn't regenerate, so he's just dead. Um, I feel like this show should be like, the fans are like, oh, we like it, it's kind of silly, but the fan base is just like, rabid defense on it. Yeah. Like, we love this show, it's well thought out. David Tennant's guy dies of radiation. However, in the first episode with Martha, he is blasted with radiation from an x-ray machine, and instead of dying, he just forces it into his shoe somehow, mm. and throws it in a bin. And he gets superpowers. Yeah. 
No, he doesn't. That's no, true. someone else gets a shoe-based superpower. Presumably. <laughs> Powerful cancer. Oh, and then after he's put the fucking the shoe with radiation into the bin, he's like, I can't walk around in one converse. So he takes the other one off and dumps it in the bin Oh, as well. that's so him. So he's like, I'm barefoot and we're on the moon. Barefoot on the moon. And everyone's like, ah, funny. And I'm like, it's not. He's a cunt. No, it's funny the first time, but when we see like a fucking half, a gift that's like half a second long, so it just like snaps his face saying like, Barefoot on the moon, LOL. Three years <laughs> on Tubber. That's when it's not funny anymore. You, right. forget, you forgot one thing. It has the XD. Oh, oh nice. nice. All right. So, David Tennant died of radiation. Uh, Matt Smith... Is he the bald one? No, Matt Smith. No, he, the... he has the fez and a bow tie. Matt Smith's the oh, bow tie. Oh, that's a, he's a cunt. Yeah. Matt Smith died of... Being a cunt. I want to say old age, actually. Wait, which one got shot by the Dalek? Oh, that was also David Tennant. He got shot by a Dalek, oh. but thankfully that's not a quick enough. That's enough to let him regenerate. So he just became David Tennant again. Like he regenerated, <laughs> but instead of fully doing that, he just forced all the energy from his radi- from his regeneration into a, a severed hand. No, a severed <laughs> hand. One of his own severed hands, so he get, which cool which is how he got the new version of him to leave with Rose. Ah, I feel like it would be a good thing to have, like, a ev- like Doctor Who's evil villain. and He has the- an evil version of himself. Oh, okay. He's called the Valiant. This is getting close to, like, superheroes. Like, oh, no, it's evil Flash. To be fair, well, though, the Valiant's only ever... Special, sorry. The Valiant's only ever come up once, which pisses me off, because the gimmick was they had a tr- had him on trial, because the girlfriend's like, you've fucked up a lot of things. He's like, no, I haven't. And they're like, get on fucking trial. So they had a trial, and they were like, right. So defending you will be yourself, and your two companions here are witnesses. They're just random companions. And your the opposition will be the Valiant. And it's like, who's the Valiant? And he's like, oh, I'm a version of you that happens between your la- your 11th and final regeneration. So okay. between your last regeneration and the one before that, which is 11 and 12, I think, you get the Valiant, who is just evil doctor but he doesn't get that later wait is he just like a jerk doctor it's like, um, no he's just a version of the doctor who is apparently evil but he never does anything evil he just seems like the one who's most logical because he's like stop fucking up time you cunt <laughs> I imagine, like, it's that's pretty time bad that the evil him is telling him to stop screwing around yeah so um the valiant never comes up again which pisses me off because he's my favorite character oh because he's the one that makes the most sense but oh, anyway have him. matt smith dies of old age but we find out that he's the last version of the doctor because um money he was not he was 11 all right we all thought he was 11 and then halfway through his run as 11 they were all like but 50th anniversary movie this is the war doctor played by john hurt War doctor? Uh, yeah, there was a war we in time. About him. Okay. Uh, that no one's allowed to go in because it's sealed in a bubble. Get it. But apparently it's and not the... sealed in a bubble. <laughs> oh, the bubble's leaking, war's coming out. That's making... Kind of, yeah. yeah that's the plot I of the I can movie. see how these people write the show. But the version <laughs> What of... can we... Fo- this is how I, like, write a D&D. Like, what can I fucking grab here? Yeah. But the version of the Doctor that was in the war of time was called the War Doctor. And the Doctor was all like, I'm not the Doctor when I'm in the Time War. So I'm not calling myself the Doctor, but he fucking does. I'm War Doctor. He ah. just, he doesn't call himself anything. But Grizzle. everyone's like, he's the Doctor. He's like, but he's not though, but he fucking is. What is, the, who's fighting in the war? Or is it just like... It's John Hurt. No, like, what are the sides? Or is it just uh, him? It's the Daleks versus the Time Lords. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, one has the power of time travel. I feel like they should. They've both got the power of time travel. Daleks can time travel? That's, uh, they figure it out and that's why it's sealed in a bubble because they just keep going back in time and being like, ah, your army that kills us. We stop them from ever getting there. Yeah. Oh yeah? Well, we'll just go back in time and stop you from doing that! And that's why it gets sealed in a bubble. They have to go to the beginning Because they just get trapped in that loop forever. It is done. So, Matt Smith's like, oh, because even though I didn't think of myself as the Doctor when I was the War Doctor, I was still the Doctor. So he's like, I'm the last one, so I'm gonna die. And as he's dying, Clara Oswald's like, could you guys just fucking... Oi, Gallifreyans, give him a new one. Come on! A new one. What new set of regenerations. Oh. Apparently they so can So they're just... limited. Yeah, there's 12. There's meant to be 12. <laughs> oh. There's not 12, because there's more. You can get more. Where do you get them from? How do you uh, get... The regen- give them to you. Just yeah, here. You go to, you go to the, the, the regeneration up. shop. Oh, that's what it sounds like. I assume you can buy them. No, yeah. it's probably like... 
Ooh, they reach hands out and then some fucking, you know, particle effect happens to no, it. No, you, you, cr- you crack it, you put it on your frying pan, Mix you it. eat your regeneration, you can usually buy them in like 6 to 12 packs. Like uh, 12 packs, actually. Mm, yeah, of course. you got to put the cucumbers on. Yeah. Which begs the question, because the master, who is the evil Time Lord that I mentioned briefly earlier, not the Valiant, because okay. this one's just a different dude. Maybe... Okay. He died, like proper died, forever. Sure. He ran out of regenerations. Well, we'll see. That was the gimmick for a long time. And then in the modern series, they were all like, yeah, during the Time War, the 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 Gallifreyans needed help, so they kind of revived him and gave him 12 new ones. Why didn't they give him one? They like, back hey, well. we need you back. to fight in a war. Bacon. He is one. No, nah, he is 12. And you know what he does? Because he's evil. He's like, evil's I've terrible. got 12 new lives. I'm just going to fuck off. Yeah. So he does. He just fucks off. Just like Baker's dozen of regions. He just they fucks off back. and yeah. becomes John Sim. Sim? Yeah, John Sim. That's a silly name. He's a great actor. And then after he's he's in Life on Mars. Oh, the man guy? Yeah. I in like the that show. UK version of Life on Mars. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, he's that guy. Good show. I like yeah. Life on Mars. But anyway, yeah, after that, the he just. One. <laughs> after he's John Sim, he just becomes a woman, and not? it's not explained why, because until this point, men and, like, Time Lords that are men couldn't become women, and Time Lords that are women could not become... They were sexist back then, but they're repealed. <laughs> they're going more modern views. Yeah, pretty much. It's... Ugh. It's going to be great when the first white one becomes a black one. That'll be a great moment for I everyone. I like the face of Bo. He was friendly. Yeah, there was a dude called the face of Bo, who was just a big face in a jar. Okay. Uh, it was briefly, um, there was a lovely hint. My favorite bit in Doctor Who is, um, there was a companion called Captain Jack Harkness, who is the most flamboyantly gay man on earth. He Good claims on. to be pansexual, but he is gay as the day is long. He's played by John Barrowman. He's, who is just a lovely chap. It's a day long. Yes. However, <laughs> the day is long okay, and he is sure. gay. So, um, what? Jack gets immortality. Somehow, it's I don't remember. Good for him. So a lot he, of regular people seem to get a lot of powers when they yeah. need to. Jack, to his credit, is a great character and got his own spin-off series called Torchwood. Oh, that guy. Yeah, the leader of Torchwood. But didn't that get cancelled and everyone got it sad? Yeah. I am sad. I liked Torchwood. It was better than Doctor Who because it made more sense. Anyway, it didn't make well. It made more sense except for the fact that it's like, why didn't the Doctor come and save us during this point? Yeah, but anyway, sex alien. Sex alien wouldn't have been allowed on the on, on time. The, pretty much time problems. So anyway. Uh, at the end of, like, this big event, Jack's yeah. walking away from the Doctor and Martha, and he's all like, Oh, it's nice to see that you've you've fixed your face, Jack. And he's like, yeah, you know, back on my home planet, uh, the Isle Peninsula of Bo on my home planet in space, they call I was a male model briefly. The face of Bo, they called me. And then he just fucks off, and they're like, Was Jack the giant face in a jar? Is that what happens to Jack? Does he just... Bec- he gets so old that he becomes a giant face in a jar. Maybe. Which is awesome. Then he dies. And then he dies. Not very immortal, is he? No. Which is why like, he's clearly not the face of Bo. Because the face of Bo died and Jack's immortal. Which begs the question, if Jack's immortal and Maisie Williams is immortal, why haven't they met? Been, they've been busy. Because they've Torchwood been got cancelled. Torchwood <laughs> got cancelled is why. They mention Jack constantly in Doctor Who, still, and it pisses me off because I'm like, John Barrowman's not doing anything. He's just filming shit seasons of Arrow. All right. Just get him in for a cameo, you fucks. My question to you is, you've given up on it, but you've seen to see a lot of it. I know a lot. How would you end the show, the big 50-year series? The end of the show altogether? Yeah, how would you end it? Um, you know, you know Dallas? Uh... It was a soap opera, like, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, years ago there was a soap opera called Dallas, and it's mostly famous because of a cliffhanger where, um, a main character called JR gets shot, and that was the end for, like, the whole summer. Everyone was like, oh, who shot JR? Because everyone watched this, and it was, like, the biggest cliffhanger okay. to date at that point. This It was so big, The Simpsons parodied it with who shot Mr. Burns. Ah, okay. That's what I'd do with Doctor Who. Oh. At the end, I'd have the Doctor killed, and it'd be like, Who killed the Doctor? And then never resolve it. Or, Damn better yet, I'd days. have him just show up on his home planet, leave the TARDIS back where he finds it at the beginning, and then fuck off. Yeah. I'd like it if Doctor... If the Doctor was just like, Hey, uh, kind of kind of tired. Just gonna Did sit in my TARDIS and have a nap for Smoko. a while. Smoko. I'm on Smoko right now. Yeah. And then just, you know, one more episode, and it's like, for the next eternity, <laughs> and it's just him sitting in the TARDIS with a TV, and like, 
This is all right. I watch this now. Oh wait, no, I know how it ends already. <sighs> they already told. They already make it. Well, they kind of make it clear how it ends. Um, uh, there's a brief moment in their 50th anniversary special movie thing sure. where um, the doctor's sitting in a museum looking at a painting of um, something. I think it's. I think it's a painting that's meant. To, it was a painting that was meant to be of Gallifrey, but it's clearly not. He's like, I've got to go find that, and he's just sitting there on a bench looking at it. And an old man sits next to him, and he looks over and he goes, oh, You! And the camera cuts the old man, and it's um, the most famous doctor. Okay. You know, the one with the scarf? Yeah. Tom Baker, Tom that's Baker, his name. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, it's Tom Baker! And he was the only guy they got in who used to be a doctor to cameo in the movie. Okay. And it was like modern day Tom Baker, so he was old. And he's being all cool, and he's like, well, you know, so at the end of everyone's run, sometimes... A good old face comes back, and they're all like, "Oh, cool! Nose. We're gonna get an old, we're gonna get Tom Baker, Doctor." But we never did. So I imagine at the end of Doctor Who, when he's done adventuring, he's just like, "Right, bored now." Shoots himself in the head, regenerates into Tom Baker, goes to Earth, becomes a museum owner. How can you shoot yourself in the head? Let me quick enough, but drowning is too far. I don't know. It's um, unclear. Apparently, if you kill yourself mid regeneration, you don't regenerate. <sighs> So apparently it's a stop-start thing. Like turning off your Xbox as it's saving progress. No, you can turn it off anytime. That's a Oh, well, then turn that's, off your that's, Xbox how it, anytime. that's how it works, right? If you drown, you're not getting out of drowning while regenerating. Yeah, but, yeah. No, that's true. That's Doctor Who. I would have them all fight to the death, and then just, like... <laughs> Battle Royale? I'll give whoever's interning at the time, like, I roll a dot, like, I just pick a name out of a hat and be like, you get the ending, and so it's going to be some bullshit, like, oh, time's <laughs> broken now, or some, and we, you know what, weeping angels kill everyone, that's my one, they spread from all around the universe and murder everyone, well, we, and they're all fucking dead. kill, though, they just send everyone back in time. Well, I don't know, they give, they were spooky in that episode, okay. I felt like someone was getting hurt. I like the idea that the bad guy that kills everyone is either the guys from the waters of Mars, because one drop of water gets in, it, it, all they need to survive is one drop of water mm -hmm. so if one drop of water gets into say the ocean on earth all of the ocean on earth becomes contaminated by this attacking species and then it just spreads from there or we get the guys from silence in the library who are just the dark and have them destroy everything so, i want to see the universe end and dr lose yes yeah, I, uh, I like that or just that's I want it. to see him, like, have to do something for eternity, and he can't go off on his wacky fucking <laughs> kooky adventures. He has to sit in a room holding a plank up or some bullshit. <laughs> so this is running pretty long, but I just want one more, want to ask yeah. one more thing. Uh, say Peter Capaldi or whatever yep. goes back in time to one of his past adventures where David Tennant's hanging out. Yep. Right? Can't he be like, you're David, watch out for a Dalek gun. No, because that'll cause paradox. Yeah. If the Doctor, uh, it's... Okay, paradoxes are confusing in Doctor Who because sometimes, bullshit. sometimes they matter and other times they don't. Like if a Doctor wants to work with himself, so long as he remembers having done it in the past, then it's okay. Like if a Doctor's like, oh yeah, I remember that time when I was my fourth version of myself and my fifth version of... I think it's for you. <laughs> Time's ringing. BBC are calling to complain. <laughs> Hello, yes. Would like to buy your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, oh, I remember when my fifth version of myself and my fourth version of myself worked together, so this is okay. But, um, if the Doctor isn't meant to interact with himself, like, he can't interact with the current version of himself, apparently. <sighs> Stupid. Because these weird Grim Reaper looking fucks come down. Fucking, hang on. <laughs> Please answer, like, hello. Yes, this is, uh, yes, this is the Out of a Hat podcast. <laughs> Oh. Is it the BBC? I love those. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually the ABC, sorry. Yep. Oh. <laughs> the, the, the BBC the wanted Croc us to call you. <laughs> We're just trying to make a show. The Croc Doc. And we want your ideas. Rest in peace, Steve Owen. <laughs> That's alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it the BBC? <laughs> No, it was some woman looking for a chip shop. You should have told oh, her to come man, over. I, go for some I should have told her. Oh, <laughs> missed opportunity. I have a packet of crisps here. Anyway, what was I saying? I am um, Peter BBC. Capaldi can't chill I'm with leaving himself. that in. Fuck it. The BBC. <laughs> Yeah, fuck the BBC. I was going to say, I like the times easy, the way they did it in Harry Potter when they get the time turner yeah. thing. Um, yeah, they don't, don't, know don't you fucking get me started. No, it was good. It's like, oh, it's already happened, but they don't know because it's not from their perspective. 
That's easy. I like that version of time travel. Bill and Ted version, I call that, because that's what Bill and Ted do. Oh, okay. But anyway. I should see that movie. Apparently it's really good. It is. It's wonderful. Uh, has anyone got any other questions about Doctor Who? Why Why do the fans like this? Because got, fans are idiots. Get a, get a hobby. Why is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Why yeah. is it? Why is why? it? Because it makes a fuck ton of cash. Fair. And on that note, I've been Ben. I've been Phoenix. I've been Nick. And that's been us talking about Doctor Who for 50-ish minutes. Do we yeah. make a decision? Is he a prick? Do we say, like, is it like Mythbusters? I mean, we can. I'd I say... Feel, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. To contact Phoenix and Ben, email them at fromahatpodcast at gmail.com or go to our Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description.